that rough. I'm sorry. Look, if Brock couldn't take the news, you haven't lost anything worth having. I didn't tell him. What? I tried to, Ruby. I just couldn't get the words out of my mouth. Oh, Bobby, honey. I don't know. I was all ready to tell him. I was really, I was all set. And then he started telling me about how wonderful I was and how he wanted me to meet his daughter. I mean, what was I supposed to say to him? Great, I can't wait to meet your daughter. I can't wait to tell her all about how I used to be a hooker. Oh, honey, you're gonna have to tell him sooner or later. If it were me, I already would have. I don't know. Maybe we're just jumping the gun. What do you mean? Well, maybe all Scotty's threats are just meant to scare me. Maybe he's gonna drop the whole thing. Don't hold your breath. Well, you never know. He could let it go. What's that? The last straw. It was slipped under my door. I found it when I got home from work. Not you, too. First me, now you? We should have expected this. How did he get hold of the rap sheets? Oh, I'm sure knowing Scotty, that wasn't too much for his talents. Oh, Ruby, if he's not to your past two, we don't stand a chance. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Ruby. Scotty's onto this. He's going to have it smeared all over the papers. And we're not the only ones that are going to be hurt. It's going to be Luke, too. Why did he ever have to run for mayor? Oh, honey, we, we can't hide the past. Sooner or later, it's bound to come out. Yeah, but not like this. I mean, why don't we just take out a billboard and let everybody in town read all about it? Honey, I don't like it any better than you do. And I hate Luke being caught up in it. But that's not the name of this game. No, this game's called blackmail. No, not yet. Right now, it's just a threat. How long do you think that's going to go on, Ruby? Scotty's going to get this all over the papers. We'll be laughed right out of town, and Luke will be laughed right out of the campaign. Not if we cut it off right now. How do we do that? We go to the source. I tried it. Didn't work. Scotty was not moved. Well... Scotty's gonna be moved by me. Come on, let's go. Now? Where? Well, honey, you afraid to wake him up? Hardly. You think he's home? Well, there's one way to find out. No answer. Try him at the office. The least you could do is uh, breathe a little heavy. Fine. Same to you. Contact. Should we pay Mr. Baldwin a little late call? Ruby, lead the way. You didn't hear us knock. No, I didn't. Funny, I could have sworn somebody said come in. Mm, probably he talks in his sleep. What is it? You tell me. Even for you, Scotty, this is a new low. What is this? Oh, you've never seen these before. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You're trying to get at Luke through using us, and I'm not going to stand for it. I don't know what's going on here, Bobby. Would you mind telling me what's going on? Scotty, don't try to deny it. Deny what? I haven't been accused of anything yet. I heard you call Jacksonville, Florida. You're right. I admit. I called Jacksonville, Florida. How did you get the police to release our records? Now, how do you know I wasn't calling about a client? Oh, knock it off, Scotty. I don't have any time for games. Neither do I, so why don't you two just take a hike? You! Stop harassing Bobby and I with those rap sheets. And you, promise me 
that not one word of this is going to get out around town. Well, I can't promise you that because your police history is uh, public domain. You see, anybody can read about it. In fact, they can read about it until their little hearts are content. You're just dispensing it as a public service, is that it? You can't prove anything. Just because somebody drops some uh, police reports over your way, you know, you come over and try to blame it on me. Well, who else is slimy enough to do it? Well, I don't know. Let's see, you two must have made a few enemies, considering the line of work you used to be in. Listen, you got a problem with us, spit it out. But don't use us to get it, Luke. Now, who said I was doing that? Oh, come on, Ruby, this is a waste of time. Not necessarily. I think I know where we might find a more sympathetic ear. We can, where? Yes, if Mr. Baldwin doesn't want to listen to us. I think I know somebody who'll be very interested in our problem. Good day, Mr. Bull. Hello, Ruby. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's no problem. Listen, when you called, I realized I had a, a breakfast appointment not very far from here, so... Well, I... I hope you don't mind it being so early. Oh, not at all. Please, sit down. Thank you. So what do you want to talk to me about? Your son. Oh, what's he done now? He's harassing Bobby and me. What do you mean? Well, I think he wants to throw a monkey wrench in Luke's campaign. So he thinks by exposing us, he's going to get Luke to drop out of the race. Exposing you? What are you talking about? Scotty B. Well, did he do something like this? Anything's fair in politics. No, no, not in my campaign. Where'd he get these lies? They're not lies. I don't understand. That's our police record. That's our rap sheet. Scotty did not make them up. He just wants to make it public. I don't know what to say, Ruby. We're not exactly proud about it. It certainly isn't anything you want to tell the world. I think Bobby and I could stand up and take it. But it's not fair to Luke. He's not responsible for anything that we did. Now, how do you know Scotty did this? Did, did he admit it? Not in so many words, but he, he indicated to Bobby that he was responsible for it. Uh... She got her records either by mail or messenger. Mine was under the door when I came home. He even had the gall to call Florida right in front of Bobby. Jacksonville, I suppose? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to believe he'd be involved in something like this, but it's just exactly the sort of stunt he'd pull. Oh, Lee, I wouldn't have brought this to you if I wasn't absolutely sure of this guy. How could he possibly imagine I'd want to... Win the race this way. It's been my experience with Scotty that he doesn't care whose toes he steps on to get his own way. I'm, I'm sorry to talk about your son. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's the truth. Scotty goes his own way no matter what. Unfortunately, this time he has involved me. And I will not stand for it. Now, I promise you, Ruby, this will not be made public. You have my word on it. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Lee. I knew you wouldn't support it. Support us. I intend to destroy it. Now, don't you worry. This is the last you've heard of the matter. I give you my word. Now, if you'll excuse me, I better get out of here. Oh, could I go to the hospital with you? Bobby's going to be so anxious to hear about this. Well, sure. Is she there already? Uh, yeah. She took the early shift. They called from the hospital. I guess they needed extra nurses, some kind of an emergency. Oh, just a minute. I have to get my purse. I'll be right here. Thank you. Didn't realize you had company. Well, look who's here. We were just talking about you. Well, there was no one at your receptionist's desk, so I just figured you were alone. Well, my secretary's coming in later on today. Mm -hmm. Well, you and I have to talk, and this is urgent. Okay, fire away. More Don't mind me. Go ahead, Ed. Well, yeah, we were just doing a little interview. I'm sorry, it's private. Oh, a little campaign strategy. Yeah. 
or something like that. Do you leave us alone for a few minutes? Oh, no problem. I was just leaving. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Well, did you come up with some new way to win up some votes? No. But I may be losing my campaign manager. Well, that's news to me. Yeah. That's just how I felt when I found out what you were doing to Ruby and Bobby. What was that supposed to mean? Now, save it, Scotty. I haven't got time for that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How dare you try to hold those rap sheets over their heads? Tell me they're trying to pin that on me again. Now, stop it. I've already called your friend, the police lieutenant in Jacksonville, Florida. He told me you were the one who requested those rap sheets. I want to know why, Scotty. I did it for you. For me? Who asked you? I am trying to get Luke to withdraw from the race. What, by blackmailing his sister no. and his aunt? Huh? No, I, I wasn't blackmailing anybody. What do you call it, then? I am wielding a little influence here, okay? That's what politics is all about. No, no, not in my camp. Look, I had no intention of ever publishing that stuff, all right? You know, I, I would never hurt Bob or Ruby. I don't believe you. God, you're not the only one. Look, I'm not going to stand here and listen to this. Where do you think you're going? I'm getting out of here, that's where. Not without an explanation, Scotty. All right, well, listen to me, all right? Ruby and Bobby, they carry a lot of weight where Luke is concerned. So I figured if Luke thought that they might be exposed, that he might just pull out of the race there, you know, save them the public humiliation. How could you think of doing something like that to them? Well, that's not the point. I would never do it to them. I'm saying It's like having the biggest bomb, you know? Now, you never have to drop it on your, on your neighbors to keep them in line as long as you think. They think one day you might do that. I see. Well, aside from the fact that what you're proposing is morally reprehensible, seems that uh, you have less than an overwhelming confidence in my chances. I mean, you seem to think that my opponent's going to have to drop out if I'm going to win it. No, I am just trying to improve the odds. Well, if that's the case, then I will accept your resignation right now. What? Either that or I fire you. Now, which will it be? Take your wait, choice. Lee, Lee, just wait I will not wait, have wait. my campaign run this way, Scotty. All right, look, I I'm sorry, all right? It, it was just a new tact. Well, it's a despicable one. You're right. You're right, all right? But... Come on, I had your best interest at heart. I don't need that kind of help. All right. I apologize. Oh, don't talk to me. Talk to Ruby. Talk to Bobby. All right, I'll go to the hospital right now and I'll talk to them. Well, I think that's an excellent idea. All right, I'm on my way. Listen, Lee. Uh, can I still be your campaign manager? Well, for the time being, all right. But you pull one more stupid stunt like this and you're gone. I mean, no explanations, no excuses. Do you understand that? Yes, you're right. I do. All right, you get over to the hospital and repair the damages. Hey, Bob, you got a minute? Not for you. I need to talk to you. I'm busy. Come on, Nils, this is going to take very long. You and I don't have anything to say to one another. Uh, maybe you don't, but I do, and it's really important. So send me a letter, or if you prefer, slip it under the door when I'm not at home. Listen, you, you're going to want to hear this. So talk. Can we go over to the lounge? Why? I don't think you want the whole hospital to know. Would you keep an eye on the desk for me? I'll be in the lounge if you need me. Thanks. Maintenance to the 10th floor nurse's desk. Maintenance to the 10th floor nurse's desk. Make it fast. I apologize. That's it? I mean it. Sure you do. No, listen. Sending those rap sheets over to your house like that, it was wrong. I'm sorry. It was... It was a lousy thing to do. If you're looking for an argument, you won't get one from me. I never intended to make them public. Oh, it was your idea of a joke? I was just i was just trying to put a little pressure on you, that's all. On Luke, you mean. That's right. I felt if he knew about it that he might just pull out of the race. Bobby, it's a political thing. It's done all the time. Oh, I see. And at the last minute, you didn't have the heart to go through with it. Yeah, well, something like that. Anyways, I'm sorry, all right, I'm, that I ever brought this whole thing up. 
What brought on this sudden attack of conscience? Well, I just feel that it was a low blow. It's never stopped you before. Well, maybe I'm kind of mellowing in my old age. I see. Am I supposed to be grateful to you for sparing us? No. I just want you to accept the apology. Have you talked to Ruby? No, I haven't, but she's next. Are you going to tell her everything you're telling me? Yes, I am. It's over. I'll believe it when I see it. All right, well, listen. I'll give you my word, okay? It's not going to go any farther. I'm going to throw those rap sheets away. It's the truth. Hello, Jacksonville, Florida, yes, police department. May I speak to the lieutenant in charge of vice squad? Yes, thank you. Hi, I'm Scott Baldwin's secretary, and the lieutenant sent my boss... Yes, that's right. He found it very interesting. As a matter of fact, if it's possible, do you think you could send another copy to the Port Charles Herald? Wonderful. To the editor's desk. Oh, he really appreciates it. Thank you. <laughs> 